Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for March 12, 2022, the Judge Wants to Know edition. We begin with that story from the News Herald, first-time contributor to the Daily Compliance News, where the federal district judge in the shareholder action against First Energy, uh, the corrupt energy company that paid $60 million in bribes to win a $1 billion legislative buyout of two nuclear plants operated uh, by First Energy at the time, wanted to know and wants to know who at First Energy paid the bribes. He uh, asked that question uh, to counsel for First Energy at um, a hearing for a settlement with shareholders. The um, lawyer for the um, for First Energy, rather, said that he could not disclose the name of the person while the settlement was pending. If that's not circular logic, I don't know what is, but uh, it really drives home the point that uh, there's never been uh, a person named who paid the bribe all through the internal investigation, the settlements, and now the shareholder action. So First Energy looks like it's going to have to uh, cough up those who paid bribes and see uh, what, if anything, was uh, done to them either civilly, criminally, or even with discipline. Next up, from the New York Times, a secret deal between Google and the company formerly known as Facebook is under scrutiny in Europe. A secret deal struck by Meta, the parent of Facebook, and Google's being investigated by antitrust regulators in the EU for potentially, and Britain, for potentially undermining competition in the multi-billion dollar digital advertising market. The inquiry, which was announced on Friday, is part of additional scrutiny on the business practices of the world's largest tech company. The regulator said an investigation uncovered um, as a part of the lawsuit uh, referred to a internal uh, agreement, Jedi Blue, which was to limit how much Facebook would compete with Google for key ad services. So um, interesting development there. Next up, uh, in a oral argument sure to really impact another case, uh, the judge in, uh, or rather in court, um, in a shareholder suit against Elon Musk and Tesla for his infamous 420 tweet, said that the funding was secured and the tweet was correct, and that uh, Elon Musk had enough money to self-fund taking the company private at 420, and he had no financial difficulties. The problem with that, of course, is that's antithetical to what they've said in the Securities and Exchange Commission um, consent order case that they filed. Everything said that uh, Tesla was under economic duress when it signed the settlement. And finally, our old friend Deutsche Bank. Well, their monitorship has been extended because they continue to violate their DPA. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.